Click subscribe to receive notifications from the latest videos. Thank you. A fast moving, wind fueled wildfire swept into the city of Ventura early Tuesday, burning homes and forcing thousands to evacuate. The extent of the losses were unclear, but fire officials said there was little they could do to stop the flames being pushed by wind gusts of 50 mph. The prospects for containment are not good, said Ventura County Fire Chief Mark Lorenzen at a press conference. Really Mother Nature is going to decide. The fire had burned at least 10,000 acres. But fire officials expected it would rip through at least 50,000 acres in the mountains between Santa Paula and Ventura. The destruction comes in what was already the worst year on record for wildfires in California. In October, more than 40 people died and more than 10,000 structures were lost when fires swept through wine country. One person was reported killed in a traffic accident on a road close due to the fire. At least two buildings have been destroyed and more than 1,000 homes in Ventura and Santa Paula were evacuated. More than 260,000 customers in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties were without power. As of 12.30 a.m. Tuesday, a Southern California Edison spokeswoman did not know when power would be restored. Strong winds were pushing the blaze in a southwest direction toward the cities of Santa Paula and Ventura. Firefighters were dealing with numerous spot fires as a result of the difficult conditions. After midnight, residents just outside the evacuation zone wondered whether they should pack up and leave. Taylor Penny, 24, and her neighbor Eric Chen, 31, stood in the road of their neighborhood just south of Foothill Road. For the past hour, they'd watched the flames ebb and flow along the nearby hills. Chen said the flames seemed to be lessening, but Penny remained worried as they stood in the wind and cold. The power in the neighborhood was out, and Penny said they had limited access to information about where the fire was because their cell phones had poor reception. Watching the wind feed the flames on the hillside, the two discussed whether they should flee. Penny's roommate had already left. I just hope we're all right, she said. That's it. The blaze started in the foothills near Thomas Aquinas College in Santa Paula, a popular hiking destination, and grew wildly to more than 15 square miles in the hours that followed, consuming vegetation that hasn't burned in decades, Ventura County Fire Sergeant Eric Bushelb said. Shortly after 10 p.m., Monday, Richard Macklin, a Ventura County fire engineer, was on the phone with a news outlet when his fire station in Santa Paula, the command center for the incident, went dark. We have power now, Macklin said about 10.20 p.m. I got lights, I don't know how they're providing it. Authorities were evacuating homes east of Dickinson Road north of Monte Vista Drive along Highway 150 and south of the college in Santa Paula and homes north of Foothill Road in Ventura. The fire was burning on both sides of the highway. We're really just trying to catch it around the edges and just pinch it off as quickly as we possibly can, said Ventura County Firefighter Jason Hodge, adding the crews are dealing with 25 to 50 mph winds. That's what's driving this fire. So it's a challenge, but everybody's out there working hard and will be through the night. Santa Paula resident Fabian Mauricio, 31, was playing basketball in Los Angeles when friends began texting him about a fire in his neighborhood. He called his parents, who tried to downplay the blaze to keep him from worrying. But when he checked photos and videos online, he saw a raging inferno. As his parents packed important documents, clothing and their two dogs, they told him to stay put. I'm worried, but there's nothing I can really do, said Mauricio, who trained in a fire academy. It is kind of helpless not being able to be there, help or do anything about it. Since shortly before 7 p.m., firefighters were in place to protect homes along Highway 150 just north of Santa Paula, 
said Ventura County Fire Captain Stan Ziegler. Within an hour, the fire grew from 50 to 500 acres. Evacuation centers were opened at Nordhoff High School at 1401 Maricopa Highway in Ojiant at the Ventura County Fairgrounds at 10 West Harbor Boulevard. In Ventura, four helicopters were to begin making water drops after crews determined that it was safe to fly as the blaze grew rapidly. But about 9.30 p.m., Two helicopters were forced to land at Santa Paula Airport due to 50 mph winds. Waiting for winds to slow down so we can get back in the fight, officials said on Twitter. It's always difficult and somewhat dangerous to fly at night, so depending on different conditions and the geographic challenges is how they evaluate whether or not they can operate at night, Hodge said. Ventura County Fire staffed an extra 100 or so firefighters in anticipation of strong winds that triggered a red flag warning in Los Angeles and Ventura counties. Weather officials said those regions could see wind gusts of 50 to 70 mph Monday night into Tuesday. The blaze was reported about 6.25 p.m. This is exactly what we have prepared for, Ziegler said. This is not a surprise by any means. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting please like and share to many friends know. Do you have any questions please comment below to let everyone know. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button to receive notifications from the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again.